Good morning all for Tuesday the 28th of December. No pressure continues to move over the country today, uh, which is bringing with it a, a number of fronts as well as some strengthening winds. Those winds are going to remain fairly strong until at least uh, mid-afternoon, where the only sort of opportunity if people do want to fly is going to exist. So looking through the remainder of this week, it's almost as if uh, 2021 has decided that uh, we've had our lots, if I'm honest. As we look into tomorrow, uh, again, we're dealing with fronts and strong wind. And very similar on Thursday. And then not much different on New Year's Eve. So, yes, we do seem to be in a very much confined belt of fronts, but at least it's this week of the year, uh, sort of a week where not much really happens. Uh, that we're getting it, uh, but yes, pretty strong winds. And we start today with a Met Office strong wind warning. It's already at Lasham, uh, gusting up to 35 knots. And uh, on the ground, currently, the, the, uh, the surface winds are uh, going to be getting up to that for most of the day, looking at this strong wind warning, uh, pretty much valid for the entire day. Uh, though I am confident it will drop off a little bit this afternoon. Winds at height are looking at somewhere in the region of around 40 knots, uh, maybe even 50 here, closer to the coast you get. But if we say 40 knots, that's probably about right. The main issue at the moment is, although it has been a sort of a bright start, there is a fairly significant area of uh, rain coming our way. And you can see that's going to go right up the M3 and cause no end of uh, disruption uh, as that starts to flood the places a little bit on pretty soggy ground already. So, yes, if uh, you haven't set out yet, I would recommend waiting until that is through because that's going to be particularly nasty. The only colour uh, on a rain radar, which is higher than that, is pink. Uh, but, yeah, I expect that will hit the airfield probably within the next half an hour and probably spread into Surrey uh, within, by about 10 o'clock. And you can see that looks there. Uh, a little bit uh, drier. And that's, I say, the opportunity may exist. Uh, but we'll have to just keep an eye on what the wind's doing. Satellite picture over the UK, we can see the tall clouds of that convection uh, just sort of heading our way behind it, a bit clearer, uh, but lots and lots of cloud over England and Wales at the moment. Public forecast shows this, so you can see that we're looking, if I turn that to knots, uh, 20 gusting 35 for most of the morning and then dropping off maybe this afternoon, looking at that. And uh, visibility should remain okay today, but yeah, it's just that rain to start with. And temperatures generally floating around 10 degrees and dew points, as you might expect, about seven degrees. Top Meteo shows the rain coming through this morning. See here. And by this afternoon, that shows a bit more clearance potentially just for dark. And Farnborough finally is showing uh, already, and bear in mind that I always think Farnborough is a little bit more sheltered than we are. 20 gusting 33 from the west southwest, and good visibility uh, and relatively good cloud base, but it is already starting to rain. And as you can see there, there's a number of different things in the TAF, but that's pretty much the only good bit of news that you can look at wind becoming 12 knots from the west though bear in mind that might not happen till five o'clock in the evening airspace wise uh not particularly much at the moment farmer and solar now active as normal after christmas and usual boscombe no temp no movements uh, or anything like that and the office remains closed at the moment so based on that, I wouldn't rush to the airfield. Uh, if anybody is interested in flying, it's going to be this afternoon. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see what the wind does. And I'm not too sure there's even the enthusiasm for that. Uh, but yes, I'll be on the airfield from about lunchtime once this has gone through, because I'm not going to drive through that. Uh, that looks pretty nasty. And I suggest that you don't do it either, if I'm honest. Uh, so yes, but... Uh, a shame that 2021 is ending on this note, but hey, we're to be thankful there's no, we're not uh, looking at more restrictions this week at all. Uh, but a reminder to uh, just 
keep sensible when on the airfield. We have had a couple of isolated cases of uh, of transmission at Lasham, so we just have to be a little bit careful there because uh, we don't want it taking out too many people at, at the end of the year. Uh, otherwise, we won't be able to fly next week, which hopefully we'll have some better weather for. So uh, I'll see you on the airfield at lunchtime and uh, we'll see how things are getting on. Bye for now.